Catherine Campbell, also known as Katie or Catherine Campbell, was a young maidservant whose life came to a tragic end on June 10, 1697. Her name is intertwined with one of the last major witch hunts in Scotland, the Paisley Witch Trials, a dark chapter in Scottish history that claimed the lives of seven individuals accused of witchcraft. During the late 17th century, Scotland was a land torn by religious tensions, superstition, and fear of the supernatural. Witchcraft, seen as a dangerous manifestation of the devil's influence, was met with severe punishment. The belief that witches made pacts with Satan, causing harm through curses, illness and death, permeated society. In this climate, accusations of witchcraft spread like wildfire, often targeting the most vulnerable members of society, especially women. Catherine Campbell, a young woman believed to have been born around 1677, worked as a maidservant in the town of Paisley. Though her life before her arrest remains largely unrecorded, her story is forever connected with a dramatic event that led to her downfall. The illness of Christian Shaw, the 11-year-old daughter of the wealthy Shaw family of Bargaran. In August 1696, Christian Shaw suddenly became ill and exhibited violent convulsions. Her strange symptoms and fits led her parents to believe she was a victim of witchcraft. Christian accused several people of being responsible for her torment, and among them was Catherine Campbell. Shaw's account described spectral visions, fits, and the sensation of being pricked by invisible needles, all signs, to a superstitious society, that she was under the spell of witches. Catherine, along with six others, was arrested and put on trial for witchcraft in early 1697. To make matters worse for Campbell, she had been previously accused of theft, a common precursor to witchcraft charges. In those times, even minor acts of crime or misbehavior could result in suspicions of darker deeds as witches were often believed to also be immoral and dishonest. The Paisley Witch Trials, presided over by local ministers and magistrates, became infamous for the severity with which they treated the accused. The trials were rooted in religious fervor, and the fear of the devil's influence was palpable. Christian Shaw's accusations were bolstered by her increasingly erratic behavior, which fueled the belief that she was indeed a victim of witchcraft. Evidence presented against Catherine and the other accused individuals was weak by modern standards. Testimonies from Christian Shaw and her supporters, who believed in the power of witches, painted a grim picture. Catherine, like many of her fellow accused, was probably subjected to torture or harsh interrogation techniques to elicit a confession. Whether she admitted to the crime under duress or continued to maintain her innocence, her fate was sealed. The verdict was swift and inevitable. Catherine Campbell was found guilty of witchcraft. On June 10, 1697, Catherine Campbell and her fellow accused were taken to Gallow Green in Paisley to face execution. Their punishment was death by hanging the typical method of execution for convicted witches in Scotland. The condemned were led to the scaffold, where crowds gathered to witness what they believed to be a righteous act of purging evil from their midst. Following their execution, the bodies were burned on a large fire, a symbolic gesture meant to ensure that no trace of the witches' evil would remain. It was believed that by burning the bodies, any lingering connection to the devil would be destroyed. Catherine Campbell's death, alongside the six others, left an indelible mark on Paisley. The town's association with the witch trials became a source of lasting shame, and even centuries later, the legacy of the 1697 trials haunts the region. The Paisley witch trials marked the end of large-scale witch hunts in Scotland, but the tragic fate of Catherine Campbell and others like her serves as a reminder of the dangers of superstition and mass hysteria. The trials exposed how fear, unchecked power, and religious extremism could lead to catastrophic injustice. Years later, the Christian Shaw incident was reevaluated, 
with many historians concluding that her symptoms may have been the result of medical conditions or psychological distress, not witchcraft. Nonetheless, the damage had already been done. Innocent lives were lost, and Paisley, once gripped by fear of the supernatural, would carry the burden of its dark history.